Hey YouTube, I'm going to be replacing this factory radio with a double DIN uh, unit on my 2003 Ford F-150 Super Crew. I'm also going to add a backup camera and I use an iPhone and I want to be able to use that with my stereo. So first thing we're going to do is <clears throat> disconnect the battery. Negative terminal, this is probably overkill but better be safe and sorry and only just takes a minute to do Eight millimeter wrench negative terminal that just protects us and I've already uh, identified the wires that I'm going to be messing with there we go Also, while we're under the hood, I'll show you. I'm going to use the accessory wire from my tow package to power my camera, and that didn't work. And I figured out it's because I was missing this relay. This one right here. Um, so I bought that just today. It was 15 bucks at the parts store. And that will power your accessory line on your tow package at the back of the vehicle. Okay. Okay, so next we're going to remove this plastic shroud around the radio. Use this. Okay, I also just unplugged this from the um, four high, four low switch just so I can get that shroud completely out of the way. And then I'm going to use these Ford radio tools. into you you're gonna feel a little resistance spread them apart and pull there we go so after verifying that uh, the wiring harness that I bought matches the factory plug I've uh, been connecting these, just connect the wire colors together. I thought I'd save this last one to just demonstrate this. Um, some of these wires on the radio side weren't stripped, so these are 18 gauge wires. And you just strip off last bit there to match the length of the harness and you twist the wires together. And then you use this crimp cap and the 22 to 18 gauge size crimp teeth. Just crimp that together. And there you go. These I got from um, Crutchfield. They also have a service that they'll do this for you. And that I, honestly, I would have used that, but they were backlogged and I didn't want to wait. So. This little just took about uh, six or seven minutes to put together. Okay, next I'm gonna remove these four bolts with the T15 bit. I'm gonna cut this lower bar out at the corners here and here using this Rockwell oscillating sonic crafter cutter. Okay, so with the climate control panel back into place with the lower bolts, I 
drew a line along the top of the unit to know where to cut out a little bit of plastic on the top. And I'm just going to cut <clears throat> along that line with that same tool. And then I just switched bits to get the final depth of this cut through. So I removed that bottom bar that's right above the air conditioning controls. It sits between the air conditioning controls and the factory stereo and I removed this much of the plastic from the top and this is the tool that I used I think that is the ideal tool for this job okay before I put this in then I attach the side pieces from that Metra kit to the openings on the radio um, I got a scratch and dent open box model of this radio from Crutchfield. One of the things that was missing was were these screws, so I happen to have some in the in my drawer here that I used. The other thing just to mention is that the owner's manual came printed on an eight and a half by eleven paper instead of the booklet. Really that's the only um, damage or thing that's off that I could find. There's no scratch or dent on the on the unit itself. So these teeth will um, grab into the factory opening uh, when that slides past there so we'll put that in there you go okay so back at the camera here <clears throat> this is a license plate mount real simple with the two screws and then I just fed the wire from the camera through this little space here and we'll get her hooked up. Okay so under the truck now I've attached the camera lead to this harness that came with the camera and off of that is going to be uh, red and black so the red will be your power and I'm going to tap into my accessory wiring that I got that new fuse or that relay for. I've identified this wire here that with the red paint on the black wire. That's my uh, trailer battery charging wire on the pin. Back here it is this one. The first one counterclockwise from top, the, or clockwise rather, the one o'clock position. Um, so I'm going to tap into that wire for my constant power and then I'm, Ford gave us a nice ground here on my hitch that I uh, cleaned off the paint and so I'll attach the ground to that. Okay so this is what it looks like hooked up. I used a posi tap to tap into that wire with the red and then my black is attached to ground. Okay, next here at the front seat, I'm going to remove this trim panel so I can get this kick panel uh, off to expose the rear reverse um, wire that will trigger the unit to switch to the camera when I throw it into reverse. Okay, so there's the pedals to orient yourself. What we're looking at here is uh, after that kick panel's removed, this top plug, the wire that's on the lower right side closest to the floor and closest to your pedals, it's black with a purple stripe. I put a piece of blue tape on it to mark it. That's what you want to tap into for your reverse trigger. Okay, so I've got the uh, plug now hooked into the harness that I bought and I just attached the extra wire I bought to run from the um, reverse trigger 
to this and now I'm going to plug everything in and just make sure it's functional before I permanently route the wires and snap the unit in place. Okay, a couple more notes. Um, I didn't show it, but I ran the um, video feed from the camera through a grommet right under my feet here. Just pulled that carpet back after I removed this kick panel to the side. And there's a big, uh, like two inch rubber grommet that Ford put in there. Um, and I just cut a slit in it and then, you know, brought the slit over the wire and uh, fed it up um, back here to the back of the stereo. Also ran the USB uh, in here so that if I want to, I can unplug this and um, <clears throat> that'll tuck away nicely there. And also ran the um, microphone that I originally had it right up there on the headliner, but uh, the cord wasn't long enough, so I ended up moving it over here, and I think it'll still work all right. I made a test call and the sound was good. The sound comes across the speakers really nice to hear them too. So that way when I pull my visor down, I can still, it's not covered, and if I pull my visor to the side here, also not covered. So I think that'll be a good place for that. Okay, so this is the trim piece that ends up fitting um, this other one. It's no good because the outside trim would hit here and here. This one is better because it's deeper. I had to trim out the corners a little bit to get it to sit over the sharper corners of the unit. And I have to kind of spread those screw mounts apart a little bit, but that should work. So I just wanted to show you what I put in here, Pioneer. This is the least expensive um, unit I could find that had the backup camera and did Apple I or Apple CarPlay. Um, and then this is the camera, backup camera, Boyo model. Seems to work well. Okay, well, I wanted to just give you a final kind of quick review of the system. Let me just show you, it takes a moment for it to start up. Start the vehicle, loading screen will come on, and then there'll be a warning. Um, I found out you don't have to hit OK and it'll clear itself. So uh, hooking that power to the camera to the accessory wire allows us to hit a button to switch it to the camera without throwing it in reverse. There it is. <clears throat> also, that's what it looks like, so I'm hooking up a trailer there. You can see the ball sitting under the hitch. That's the easiest I've hooked up a trailer by myself in a long time. And so Apple CarPlay uh, works really well. Uh, it looks just like your phone icons. Really easy to make a call. You can push this button, talk to Siri. It gives you your maps so that you can navigate without having to buy a navigation head unit. It just works straight from your phone. Um, so everything is as you would expect it to work. The sound quality on the phone is awesome. Um, so that's one of my favorite parts. You can play your podcasts. Um, everything works really well there. So that's my contribution to the YouTube community. Shout out to the other great videos that uh, helped me get this done. Thanks for watching.